this week. Motivational thought of the week this week. It is by Epicurus. A man who causes fear cannot be free from fear. A man who causes fear cannot be free from fear. What does that mean? I'll give you what my take on it is. Is I read that and the first thing I think of is try our best not to make enemies. I think that's a pretty good philosophy, a good, uh, good message uh, to try to keep in our heads more times than not, especially in this day and age, it's not always easy. Um, and obviously there's different situations and um, different things. And I can tell you firsthand in WWE and a lot of the things that happened with them and treating them as an enemy and what they do is then they put out false narratives and create hate for the person and, and whatnot. But there is a line there where you got to stand up for yourself and defend yourself and which I have done all along the way. But, um, you have to be careful when you make enemies, negativity is always going to kind of be around whether you want it or not. And it's out of your control. That's kind of what I get from this and, and with fear and this message, a man who causes fear cannot be free from fear. And that, uh, and I've noticed that, like I said, and by me, you know, standing up for myself, it, it's caused more negativity from outside things that have nothing to do with me. Other people in WWE we have working relationships with the sports during Bleacher Report, and then that feeds all the dirt sheets, and the dirt sheets feed a lot of the inner hardcore fan base, which then comes back to me. It's false, not true, but coming back at me. So try not to create enemies. It's a really tough thing. I'm not, I'm not great at it at all because I, I punch me, I'm going to fucking knock you out. So it's just the way that, that's instilled inside of me. But I try my best still. And as far as in regular life, everyday situations, um, not having falling out, having falling, having a falling out with someone, or if there is a disagreement, trying to, again, this fucking townhouse trying to control the emotions and keep the peace because you create fear. It's going to come back with negativity and it's just kind of, it's a never ending game. So it's uh, even whether you're right or wrong, it, it kind of can always come back at you is, and that that's a very good quote. And I do agree with it in a lot of ways. It's not always easy. I think we all can all agree on that and whatnot, but it's uh, try not to create enemies. Better off just ending it peacefully and not having communication, but not going out with a gunshot. <laughs> because again, if you shoot me in the leg, I'm going to shoot you in the head. So if we just don't, don't pull out the guns, guys. <laughs> That's the, the thing. But even if I do get shot in the leg, I need to maybe learn to just put a bandage on it and they, you know what? That motherfucker would have been dead if I wanted to fire back, but I'm not going to fire back. Really tough. Well, I'll be the first one to admit that. I don't know if I like this quote now. <laughs> oh, man. That's my message of the week. Very blurred, blurred the lines on this week's message of the week. <laughs> shoot, but if you can control it, try not to shoot. We're not perfect. Cool. Don't, don't make enemies, guys. Hey, guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all-natural my all-natural supplement line. Supplement. Supplement. Stupid. My all-natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching.